Okay. Um, hi, Desiree. I'm going to do this again, and um, I don't really get any feedback that it's noisy, so I'm, I'm thinking it might be on your end. Um, as you can imagine, I can only do these uh, through video. If I were to take the time to critique this letter in writing, it would cost you, you know, what I what I charge by the hour, which is, um, you know, significant amount more than thirty-five dollars. So I hope that this is helpful because I gave you some good feedback. I think it's it's decent feedback. So let me try it again. My name is Desiree Adams, and I would love for you to consider my young adult Southern Gothic magical realism manuscript, tentatively titled Shade, which is completed at 72,000 words. High expectations define Shade St. Clair's life. A single act of rebelliousness, lying to her parents so she can attend a party the night of her 16th birthday, explodes into a night of carousing in the French Quarter and ends with a tattoo of a giant serpent across her back. Shade realizes her problems are much lar larger than hiding her new ink. She also begins having haunting visions of her classmate's abducted brother. A chance meeting with a woman Shade thinks is a stranger reveals her birth mother was a reluctant voodoo queen ousted from her place by her paternal grandmother. When she discovers there are other missing children from nearby small towns, Shade is forced to accept both her family history and newfound gifts in order to find them. Shade is the first book in a series of which books one and two are complete. Currently working on the third. Thank you for your consideration. Okay, so what do I think of Shade? I like the idea of the story very much. <clears throat> um, so again, I will um, give you my take on this. I would get rid of the first paragraph doesn't serve any purpose there. Um, you can start with Shade, My Young Adult, Southern Gothic, Magical Realism, uh, YA novel, or novel, um, boom, and go, and, and go right into it. I would not say my name is Desiree Dax, so I don't, don't ever open a career letter with introducing your name. You can read it at the bottom. Um, and it tells agents that you probably don't write a lot of letters. Um, so if this is your first, um, here's what you need to do in the query letter. You need to put you've got a hook. You know, I've got a lot of story here, but I'm having a hard time following it in this very tight second paragraph. So let's see what we can find out. First of all, Saint uh, Claire, <coughs> her last name, Saint spelled out S A I a I N T you might want to consider S T. Um, that's a long name, but it's fine. Also, if Shade is a tentative title, and if uh, this serpent, this tattooed serpent, is really, really significant here, you might want to play with the word um, ink. And um, it, because if YA readers know that ink is tattooing, you know, it's just another way to book your reader uh, in title. But that's really um, secondary. So here's what I'm going to tell you. I've read this second period, paragraph, and here's what I think happens. I think that everything is fine in Shade's life until the eve of her 16th, no, her 16th birthday that night. She decides for the first time in her life to do something kind of right. And um, the result is that she wakes up the next morning with this big serpent head tattooed on her back. Cool. Then, from that point on, all these things transpire. So, um, let's see if I can remember. She um, becomes concerned about her brother, her friend's brother who's been abducted. She is concerned about all the children in the town who have been abducted. This is all after she gets this circle. Um, she meets a woman who, lo and behold, is either going to turn out to be her birth mother or it's going to be uh, a significant player in the story. Perhaps a woman who introduces her and leads her to her birth mother who has which I'm assuming that Shade also has. <clears throat> so, I'm thinking that all of this happened, based on this paragraph, all of this happened after her 